Hello, welcome to Bible Guru Through the Bible. We've already looked at the God who created and the light and life, which are the first order of creation. Today we will see that God creates for a purpose. There are many creation myths around the world. Here's just a sampling, the Babylonian myth. Sons of God, who did not get along well, Marduk and Tiamat, fought for dominance of the universe. Marduk won and used Tiamat's body to make the universe. The Norse. Waimir was the frost giant, but not a god, and he eventually turned to evil. After a struggle between the giant and the young gods, Bor's three sons killed Waimir. Bor's sons dragged Waimir's body to the center of Gunungagap, and from him they made the earth. Waimir's body became the sea, his bones became the rocks and the crags, and his hair became the trees. Bor's sons took Waimir's skull and made it into the sky. The Taoist. The way gave birth to unity, unity gave birth to duality, duality gave birth to trinity, and trinity gave birth to a myriad of creatures. The most common theme in these ancient creation myths is that gods had arguments or accidents, and usually one of the vanquished gods provides the material for the universe. The result was what we now see around us. The biblical account is very different. What is striking to me is not that there are many different explanations of the universe and how it came into being, which include God or gods that humans all over the world have understood that the universe had a beginning and that it is somehow supernatural. What is most notably unique about the Genesis account is the structure and clear teaching of purposefulness. The days of creation. Day one, God spoke light into existence. He then divided the light from the darkness. He called the light day and the darkness night. Day two, God created the firmament or the sky and separated the water below from the water above. God named the firmament heaven. Day three, God commanded that the dry land appear from the waters. God named the dry land earth and the rest of the waters seas. God created the grass and all the plants, including the trees. Day four, God created lights in the sky for seasons and days and years. God created the greater light to rule the day, the sun, and he created the lesser light to rule the night, the moon. He made the stars also. Day five, God created all the water creatures, birds and whales, and God commanded, be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters of the seas and let the fowl multiply upon the earth. Day six, God created all land animals, cattle, creeping things, the beasts of the earth, and he called humanity in his own image. God commanded, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and every moving thing on earth. Humans and animals are told to eat all plants, all vegetarians. Day seven, God rested from all the work which he had created. He blessed the seventh day and made it holy. So please think about it. Day one, you have light and darkness. Day four, light bears. Day two, water of sky and sea are separated. Day five, the birds of the sky and the fish, etc., the whales and the sea. Day three, land and sea separated, grass, plants, trees. Day six, land creatures and humanity all commanded to eat, plant, and fruit. There's a pattern here. Day one is related to day four. Day two is related to day five. Day three is related to day six. In each case, the day on the left finds its fulfillment in the day on the right. Light is made for light bearers. The sky is made as a dwelling place for birds, the sea and the creatures of the sea, the land and the land animals. The plants are made for animals to eat. The animals are made and given commandments. And we see this on day five. To all the creatures, the birds, the whales, God commanded, be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters of the seas and let the fowl multiply upon the earth. Animals are created to be fruitful and multiply. Humans were created to be fruitful, to multiply, and to care for the earth. Day six, to humanity commanded, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and the fowls of the air and every moving thing upon the earth. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.